Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. You know, greetings is like a, a friendly thing. You know, it's like, it's me saying hello to you who were nice enough to click on this video. There are billions of videos out there and you chose to click on this one. And I appreciate that you did. So what we're about to talk about is not, it's not fun. You know, it's not the world in which I wish we lived. But years ago, even when the July 4th and Cyber Weekend sales were starting to get really going, uh, what Kabam found out was that people would spend, let's say, $600 on offers for that holiday. And then they would not be happy with what they got. This was long before Wish Crystals, right? Like maybe it was they opened all five and six star crystals because this was also before Nexus Crystals. I do believe... Nexus crystals and wish crystals, not just from a legal sense, but from a, um, a playability sense, Nexus crystals and wish crystals are needed to give players a reason to keep opening crystals because there are just so many champions in this game now that are fairly average to not really fun to play. And by the way, I actually like that about the game. Because if every champion felt like they were just as good as everybody else, then I wouldn't have that jackpot feeling of opening somebody like Apocalypse. I would have that same feeling if everybody was Groot, you know? And and so I've never thought that I wish the game had everybody that was God tier because if everybody's God tier, nobody's God tier. But at the same time, what would happen years ago on those days is that summoners would contact Apple or Google Play and say, hey, I just spent $600 on these offers that this game company um, said would be account changing or made me think would be account changing and I got nothing but trash. Maybe I was hunting for six star blade, even though back then six star blade didn't exist. So let's say five star blade and I just got five star, or in this case, four star Electra. So they would file the refund. Kabam would lose $600. And back then, some of those players would just get their money back. And I was a part of some uh, chats that literally had people saying, hey guys, I just got my $600 back and nothing happened to me. You should do this too if you don't like what you get. And if you also were in a position, because some people feel like they literally have a gambling addiction problem because this is the Marvel Casino of Champions, and they have to essentially sometimes spend money that maybe should be going toward food or rent or gas, you know, necessities, groceries. Uh, they should be spending it on there, but Cyber Weekend made them spend it on the game. And now they want that money back for so that their wife doesn't divorce the media because that's the common goal I hear a lot too in my friends who are married. It's like, Prof, I'd donate to you, but then my wife would kill me. I don't want you to get divorced, buddy. So, Kabam knew about this, and it was going on for maybe a couple years. And so what they did was they took control of punishing accounts who asked for refunds. Now, I get why they did it in principle. They didn't want people to get their money back for purchases that they bought. But what has happened is that I can't think of a single situation where the summoner, even if they were justified, was able to prove to Kabam that they shouldn't be in negative unit jail. And so I had people this week who bought the Quicksilver Early Access Bundle for 50 bucks, or maybe they bought two for 100 bucks, who were so mad that the synergy was changing and being to a certain extent nerfed that they contacted Apple and Google Play with the expectation that the product that they bought had been decreased from what they thought they were buying. Now, in another world, this would be a valid argument. If you bought a car that said it would go 120 miles an hour and you were planning to take that car 120 miles an hour because every other car you owned would only go 80 and then it turns out after you bought that car that 
they told you, oh, sorry, actually that car is driving too fast. It now could only go 80. Well, the rest of your cars go 80, so I wouldn't have bought the car in the first place had I known that you were going to decrease it by 40 miles. Because that's how I feel what the argument is, is about OG Scarlet Witch with the synergy. She's hitting very hard, but is she hitting harder than Hercules? Is she hitting harder than Ghost or Kitty Pride or Corvus? Maybe, maybe not, but it is RNG dependent. And so they made the argument and they won the battle. They got a refund from Google Play or Apple because they agreed that they deserved it. But they lost the war. Because if you fight Kabam, you might win the battle with Apple or Google Play, but you'll lose the war. This summoner is now in negative unit jail. Now, you know that an early access bundle is $50. And so, $50 is now a price tag of 4,999 box of credits. And the summoner was locked out of all offers and has that exact negative amount. So, essentially, the refund needs to not be a refund. They need to now pay another $50 to get back their units. This is not news. This has been going on for years. Ever since Kabam made the deal with the companies to take ultimate ownership of the refund process. I know that some of the response from these summoners is to say, well, now I'm going to go on the forums and I'm going to demand something. You're not going to be able to change Kabam's mind on this. I wish I could tell you that I was more optimistic. I don't want to be a negative Nancy Debbie Downer or whatever you want to call it when it comes to refunds. I want to be able to have hope. But Kabam now has the legal right to basically say, once you charge that credit card, you have no justification for a refund ever. And we can change synergies, and we can nerf champions, and we might give you in a rare circumstance like Mole Man a rank down ticket, but we're not going to give you the cash back. And of course, with Mole Man, the arguments about, well, I put Awakening Gems into him, or I put Six Stones into him, etc. Well, you're not going to get those back either. So that makes it even more complicated. I'm not trying to be emotional in this video. I am not trying to be Mr. Negative. I am just telling you how it is. If you fight Kabam on this, you will lose every time. And this is the fate of an account that fights Kabam. I'm not saying that those of you who feel like you have a compelling argument about wanting a refund don't have a compelling argument in like a lower court. But Kabam is the judge, jury, and executioner of your account. I don't own my account. You don't own your account. It's all code, essentially, but it's run on a server that we have no control over. And Realm of Champions players found out the hard way when their server was done. That even though Kabam could give them all the uh, incentives in the world to come to Marvel Contest of Champions if they weren't coming over already, uh, they weren't going to get their money back. And so someday... If, like, if Disney Mirrorverse explodes even more and Kabam just wants to concentrate on that game and they say, sorry, we're shutting down the Marvel one, they might give us a ton of incentives to go over Disney Mirrorverse, but this game will cease to exist. So uh, the, the, the takeaway, ultimately, from this video is if you are so mad at Kabam for this that you feel like you shouldn't spend anymore, then don't spend. Just be a free-to-play player or walk away. But if you want Kabam to suddenly change the rules of refunds, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry that that's the case, but it's why I tell it like it is. I just need you to be realistic. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And thanks to everybody who sent me similar stories about their refund jail situations after asking for a refund from Apple or Google Play after this week's early access bundle situation.